Hi everybody, welcome back to another technical demo around the Quarkus application. So today I'm going to really more talk about upside. As you know, I have a lot of video and technical demo around the Quarkus application development uh, for more the developer standpoint. But today in this video, I'm going to showcase a little bit more the operation team perspectives, how to manage your Quarkus application with the ham chart. So let me talk a little bit about what HAM chart is. So HAM is a software package manager, uh, just like uh, the YUM or DNF, a Linux operating system like a Fedora, uh, which is simplify deployment of your application and services to Kubernetes cluster as well as open the container platform. So HAM uses the packaging format uh, named the chart. The HAM chart is a collection of file which is described the Kubernetes or OpenShift container platform resources like a service account or a service and deployment, build, etc. So a running instance of the chart in the, your Kubernetes cluster is called the release. So the new release is created every single time uh, when chart is installed in the cluster. So each time a cluster, the chart is installed or even a release is upgraded or rolled back, the incremental uh, revision will be created you know, along the way. So here are just a few key features when you use HAM. So HAM uh, fundamentally uh, provides some capabilities such as you can search through the large collection of the chart stored in the chart repository. You can also modify existing chart. You can also uh, create your own chart with the OpenShift container platform or Kubernetes resources. And one of the good benefits of a ham chart, uh, you can have a packaging and share your application as a chart. And uh, luckily, uh, we're going to use OpenShift container platform in a race version today. So let's get started uh, how you can manage your Quarkus application with a ham. Okay, let's jump into the demo. Okay, here's my OpenShift cluster. It's a race version, OpenShift 4.6 version. And when you go to, uh, here's my sample application project. Uh, Quarkus dash ham, and then you can find any uh, application here, deployment at this moment. And you, when you go to add in a develop console, and you can find the ham chart as a catalog item. And then there's a Quarkus chart is already there. It's the latest one, uh, still uh, point, uh, 0 0.1, which means it's still uh, developing. So, but luckily we can use that, uh, this ham chart. Once you click on ham chart, you can find the pre recorded. Specifically, a push the container platform uh, related to the secret, uh, creating secret uh, for more security uh, capability uh, using SDR Builder or Docker based image uh, from external registry. I'm not going to use this uh, functionality uh, for this demo. I'm trying to make it simple how to uh, create your Quarkus application as simply. And here are some uh, configuration as uh, environment uh, as a variable. So you can uh, specify your image name, tag, or the build URL uh, uh, in a reference like a gear repository and a context root, a, a context dir uh, over your gear repository. We're going to use that thing. And you can actually use two different modes to build your application, like a JVM mode or a neighbor comparison mode. This is a huge benefit of the Quarkus application to packaging your uh, packaging and running on the Kubernetes cluster like a container platform. And you can also define some uh, specific environment variable or a replication, like a number of replica as a default. And you can also define some specific configuration around deployment, like a liveness or a liveness check, like a, the uh, Kubernetes uh, fundamental functionality. So there are huge of the uh, configuration. You know, we can do that during ham chart at the beginning time. So here's a sample, the YAML file. Uh, around the, the how to build and how to deploy and how to manage that thing. As you can see, uh, you can actually choose JVM or a native compilation mode, and then you can define the liveness, uh, readiness check. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to make it simple here. So I'm going to use the one of my uh, demo application, and then uh, we're going to set the inbound variable because Quarkus is using the running, uh, the thin jar with some dependency library. I'm going to de empty uh, the deployment configuration. So here's my uh, the demo in, uh, repository, and my team actually keep maintaining this 
uh, probably partially can find a lot of interesting uh, Quarkus demo here. So I'm going to use one of that demo uh, to showcase the CRUD capability to interact with the in-memory database or a PostgreSQL uh, to store, update, delete, and modify uh, the specific data on your data store using Quarkus application. And this application put on the Red Hat build of the Quarkus. It's a, using the same functionality in community upstream, but it's based on Red Hat uh, distribution. So I'm going to copy from the Git repo here, and I'm going to use the default uh, reference uh, reference directory and context store. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to add any specific thing. Once you install, click on that, so you can see automatically new Quarkus application is just spinning up, but still uh, there are uh, still under the building. So as you can see, there are no hash check at this moment. And then, but you can see there are image pull back off error. Uh, I'm going to show why you can see that error. When you go to ham menu and it will go to release node, you can find that uh, your deployment will report the error image pull or image pull back off until your application build is complete, which means uh, you don't worry about this error until you complete your build application. So let's go back to topology view and then click on the running build icon. And then when you click on this icon, it's automatically related to our build logs here. As you can see, this is a Maven structure project on Quarkus, which means uh, we need to download all dependency library from the Maven central repository. So when you go to the build uh, menu, and uh, you can find the build configuration, click on logs, and you can find this exactly the same uh, logs. Let's take a look at a little bit more of the ham chart here. So when you click on resource in ham chart, you can find all uh, necessary resources just generated uh, based on ham chart. So build config and deployment and image stream and uh, route URL and also service here. So uh, this is a whole bunch of things. Let's take a look at the more uh, build uh, logs. Uh, it's already done or still keep doing that. Okay, so still download the application. I'm gonna move forward uh, to waiting uh, the application. Okay, so so now we're gonna create the build image based on uh, Quarkus image. And as you can see, uh, so we're gonna use S2I uh, process. And then once you create the container image based on Quarkus application, we're gonna push this image into internal uh, container registry inside of the container platform with the images, image stream tab. So now you can see the Quarkus application running up and just click on the view log. But in fact, your application, I mean, Quarkus application is still running. Uh, even though you have a complete uh, dark blue circle on your uh, developed console because you don't have any hash check. Okay, let's take a look at that. Uh, this Quarkus application running on JVM hotspot in the version 175, the final version already appeared on Quarkus the race one. So you just need the 13 milliseconds to uh, 13 seconds to start up this application. When you click on route URL to access the endpoint, you can see uh, the pretty nice web UI to do. So you can add some tasks. For example, I'm going to add create a new demo about server list, my new task uh, for next week. And then I'm going to update the Quarkus workshop uh, to improve some Spring developer stuff. It's uh, my new task as well. This is actually my task, by the way. So I'm going to need to write a blog about the Quarkus function. Uh, so this is a I'm pretty sure this is a pretty interesting thing as well. So you can actually delete, update, just like a CRUD capability, uh, your enterprise application. Pretty simple, pretty cool. Okay, so uh, we're gonna actually go to monitoring in a developer console, obviously container platform, and there are a few parts. So let's take a look at that, which part we need to take a look at that. So here's the KXGPB uh, is our actual uh, Quarkus application part. And then you can find that in the CPU uh, utilization. And uh, next, uh, in a five minute period, you can find it's a, a little bit rising. And then change the memory usage. And then uh, the, the green, yeah, right green color is our actual Quarkus application around 200 megabyte for memory footprint. When you go to ham chart, we can actually upgrade our ham chart uh, configuration. Let's try to add the 
uh, our liveness and readiness at all. This is a default uh, capability on your Kubernetes cluster to make sure your application actually ready and live, live uh, to serve your business functionality. So I'm going to add the liveness and readiness uh, to Quarkus provide that capability as well. And as you can see, the deployment automatically uh, triggers a new application deployment. As you can see, so new pod is just uh, redeploy based on uh, the deployment uh, change. So this is just a huge benefit. And as you can see, the YUM or DNF or the packaging manager, so automatically upgrade your application software on the Linux operating system. It's exactly the same concept. Using Hamchart, you can actually change it, uh, it will upgrade your Quarkus uh, runtime environment using Hamchart. Go to research. Now we have a new application and uh, just uh, uh, edit your hash check. Now you can find the new hash check. Uh, as you can see, we edited it in the ham chart, but now the new change is already applied to our deployment configuration as well. So, so last thing, uh, you can actually uh, uninstall ham chart as a release menu. It's a Quarkus, this is the menu, and an uninstall is automatically delete all resources on your project. So as you can see, there's no pod or any resource in this project. Thank you for watching, and please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for the next technical video and tips. Have a good rest of the day.